Checkpoint, a Blender add-on that takes away the pain of managing multiple backup files by enabling version control inside each project. Users can easily navigate between different checkpoints without having to save dozens of files, like Final Final Really Final V3. To get started, install Checkpoint. You can find all the add-on's features on a panel in a workspace tab, but first, we have to save our project. At this point, it's also worth mentioning that projects should have their own folder to avoid any conflicts. After saving it, the game begins. Congratulations, you've just set your first checkpoint and can now go back to the default cube in one click. Add new checkpoints by providing a quick description of the changes made. There is also a handy dialog box that will appear after it's save, but this is optional and can be disabled in the preferences. Loading a checkpoint does exactly what it sounds, taking you to the exact moment in time when it was made. It does this by replacing your blend file, so keep an eye on the warning that tells you if there are any changes that could be lost. You can edit the description, export, or delete a checkpoint, which completely removes it from the file system as long as it's not referenced by another timeline. Speaking about it, timelines can be used to keep things organized. Ideally, you would make a new timeline every time you want to go back and make changes to keep a clean and linear flow of progress. By the time you make 10 billion checkpoints in 137 timelines, you might be worried about how much disk space it is using. Luckily, you can check out storage info in the panels folder. Once your project's finished, you can delete all backups and free up disk space. This has been Checkpoint in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.